favors are from Paris. Good morning. I'm currently getting ready for my bridal shower, which is kind of crazy. I was just saying to Erin last night that like all of these parties are like once in a lifetime. Like you just, this is it. Like you don't get to do it again, which is kind of crazy. It's like weird to think of it that way. For the bachelorette party, I just felt like it was my birthday the whole weekend. Like everything was about me. <laughs> Not that I don't like attention, like I'm fine having attention on me and I love having everyone that I love together, but it is, it's just like very surreal. So yeah, I don't know how to feel right now. I kind of feel like I have to look perfect. So I'm like setting my curls with my skincare fan. <laughs> we are doing a tea party theme for the bridal shower. So I'm wearing this dress from Lulu's that's like, it's kind of like ivory. And something about the material looks like very classy, but I'll show it to you once I put it on. I'm letting these curls like stay very George Washington until I'm like ready to brush them out because my hair does not hold curl very easily. I feel like I need like a silk like bonnet of sorts to hold my curls like this <laughs> so that they stay longer. Aaron forgot his phone, so he's reading a magazine. <laughs> what are you learning about? A wacky rig. What is that? So the bridal shower is at 2 and it's 12 right now. I'm like fully ready. I just need to get dressed, but I don't want to get dressed too early because I'm putting tights on. It's all like snowing today and I have had my outfit picked for literally like two months. So I'm going to be in a short dress on a snowy day, <laughs> which is just what it is. Our family friends like came over for coffee this morning to see the house and they brought over pastries. So I feel like I shouldn't eat anything else because like I said, we're doing a tea party kind of theme. So there's gonna be a lot of like finger foods and I just feel like I'm gonna be eating all day. So I don't wanna eat anything else. It's like, what do I do for the next hour? I don't know. Didn't do my nails. Don't have enough time though. So the nails are not gonna be done. All right, I'm utilizing my studio for the time being until it's full. This is my outfit. I have to put on my heels still, but I'm wearing my wedding heels. These are the heels that I'm gonna wear, and I'm going to wear Uggs into the house because it's snowing outside. <laughs> but this is the fit. And now we're gonna go to Ulta or Meyer or something because I don't have my nails done for my bridal shower, which is insane of me to do. Where's my bag? And I'm also bringing a change of clothes for dinner <gasps> after, so there you go. Kitty, do you wanna come? She's about to get bagged up. All right, this is the final fit for heading to the house, except for her shoes, but I think this looks actually really good with a pea coat. I might be wearing this again. Thank you. I did forget one thing. I don't have any perfume. <laughs> I have not actually picked a wedding day perfume. My stepsister Hallie got me the Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume for Christmas and I really like that one. I think I'll wear that. Do you like these shoes with this outfit? Uh, yeah. They're gonna wanna be comfortable. All right, I ended up with the most boring nails at Ulta. So I was gonna go with a color, but then I didn't like any other colors. So I ended up with these Glamnetic Haley nails. Since we're in traffic, I'm just gonna pick my nail sizes. I'm sure that... Was that you? No. Who did that? I literally am gonna like pop all the nails out of place at this time. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to nail fitting. You might just have to do it at your mom. Okay, the nails are done. They are way too long, but I don't have the time to file them down, so we're headed in. This is everybody puts a suggestion for a date night. Oh, that's cute. The tip jar. It's for. Oh, that's cute. I don't know. How? You brought these from Paris. The, the, the favors are from Paris. So it's the next morning after my bridal shower and last night we packed up the car and got most of the gifts home, but we're going back to my parents' house to pack up the rest of the gifts, but it was so fun and like I feel like I got 
a preview of like what it's like to have everybody from all different parts of your life like in one room so that was super fun and special and i just got done writing all the thank you cards so that's great since we've gotten engaged i feel like i've never seen so much mail like <laughs> between the save the dates the invitations this like i feel like i'm supporting the u.s postal service staying alive <laughs> but it feels so good to have these done my hand is a little bit cramping but i have a session in an hour then we're gonna go get the rest of the gift and then once we have all the gifts here aaron and i are gonna unbox them and show you what we got <laughs> all right it has been a few days since the bridal shower and I still have not packed a lot of the gifts. <laughs> I wanted to wait and do a gift haul from my bridal shower because I just feel like it's so fun to see like what's on other people's registries. And I was looking up a lot of articles on like what to put on your registry when I was making mine. So I think this would be fun to share and hopefully you enjoy. I'm gonna have Erin join me for like unboxing. So we did already take out one item from our gifts because I was just too excited to put it on the counter. It's our Breville toaster oven air fryer and it looks so pretty. We had like a white Breville on the registry just so it like blends in because we don't have like a super huge kitchen. Wow. It looks good. This is your big item. Yeah, well, you don't use wine rack. You want any bottles of champagne right here? No, 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 That's, that'll move. But I feel like the white on white on white <laughs> really makes it look not so cluttered on the counter. But I used to have a wine rack right here, and so we decided the wine is gonna go in a cabinet now, and the Breville is gonna be on the countertop. I feel like this lighting is gonna be a problem. We'll see. Okay, time for a registry haul. Um, so I'm gonna start with the items that we had just opened up about five minutes ago. A uh, diffuser from Target, it's very cute. We have a diffuser in the living room, but like nowhere else in the house, so I thought this would be nice. What do you think? One word answers only. Great. Okay, she can't even see us, but we got these king size cooling pillows, which are so nice. And they're like puffing up from being rolled up in the packaging, but so excited we're gonna have a king size bed. The sun is setting more, so the lighting is better. Ready, three, two, one. I think this is gonna be one of your favorite items because you already opened it. Yep, I could not wait. I have an acacia one and uh, turns out I mean, you have a, a board, an acacia uh, cutting board that's got like big panels of wood that are glued together. If you get it wet and you leave it up to dry, it'll curl on you. This one's nice and straight, but the one that I have is curled. Okay, next item, a muffin tin. I'm about to make little egg bites above all else. Heavy duty too. I really love everything from this brand, Figment. It's like the new It Girl at Target. <laughs> I feel like Target kind of like cycles through like the cute brand of like mm, the whatever's, kitchen whatever's, items. Whatever's hot right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and hot. Figment is like the new Target Are you... cute brand. We have a loaf pan matching, also from Figment. I'll make banana bread one day. What do we got there? Uh, wood handled stainless steel measuring cups. They're really cute. They're from the Hearth and Hand collection. The biggest one is literally two cups, which I've never seen a measuring cup be that big. The little green machine from Bissell. If you don't know what this is, it's like an upholstery and like carpet cleaner and it's handheld so you don't have to have like a big huge machine but it like pushes the like soapy water and then sucks it up like a carpet cleaner would so yeah an extractor an extractor we have a set of salad plates it's a set of six so there's dinner plates that match this too um and we have like two sets of each now so we have some salad plates in the cupboard and these are the new ones this will make its way to a food instagram i'm sure aaron's desk I need to be a food Instagrammer. We have another figment item. This is a salad spinner. You can't tell that it's spinning, but it's spinning really fast. <laughs> and then we have figment tongs. We have a basket of items. The bell of the ball. This is a Dutch oven. This is good for braises, your birias, your asabucos, your pot roast, your pork shoulders, your pulled pork, uh, your pulled hamstring. This is good for all of it up to 500 degrees. Thank you to Ryan and Rachel, my dude. You can see this at a chili cook-off near you soon. They also got us a bunch of kitchen towels. Need those. Very important. And they're in our wedding colors, did you notice? I did not. It seems like It seems like everything in, from Figment is our wedding colors. Thing. It's so true. I found the matching dinner plate. They have like the little ridge, oh. just like the salad plates. I don't have this inside, but we got a new fire pit and a fire pit cover. 
but that's gonna be really nice because our current fire pit is like completely rusted out right now. This was not on our registry, but she read my mind and it's a kitchen scale. We don't own one. They also got us two different sizes of measuring cups. Oh, nice. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> this one's four cups. I feel like I've never seen one so big in my life. They got us a bunch of nice baking spatulas that are stainless steel, so they'll like last a long time. Like they won't like discolor or anything. William Sonoma. I know. We got some nice kitchen towels and then a mixing bowl with a spout. We're also baking. I have a lot of dreams of baking a dog. I missed an item while I was opening these. Oh my gosh, cool. Pastry blender, what do you use this for? It's for chopping up um, dough, like floury dough. That's so cool. Yeah. I want to make her song. The heaviest rolling pin on earth. Yeah, it's marble. Really? Isn't that perfect? This is for when I get out of line. I would never do that to you, honey. And then they got us the hand soap and lotion. Next up, we have a TikTok favorite, and I'm very excited about it. It's a big chopper. I see people do like chop salads on TikTok with these. Oh, yeah, where you do like all the Greek ingredients. Yeah, but it'll be easier save your hand. Than... It'll save your hand, though. Yeah, save the arthritis. Toodle, are you joining us? Next up, bath towels. They're very soft. Back to Figment with a cutting board set. This I desperately need in my kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Let's give an example of the old ones right now. And these are nice, but when you set them on the stove to dry, they get a little burnt. And this one got so burnt that we had to cut off the side of it, so. <laughs> That's user error, to be clear. <laughs> ah, an immersion blender. We got a hand blender, which Aaron calls an immersion blender. Kind of reminds me of the like milk frothers that are like handheld. Super good for salsas, not just any sort of sauce where you need to blend something together. Explain. That is a spider. You are frying, which we don't deep fry things really at all in, in this house. This is super helpful for pasta. So when you boil your pasta, you don't need to get off this whole strainer and have it be this huge disaster. You literally just scoop it out of the boiling water and put it in your other pan to mix with your sauce. We have two canisters for baking ingredients. Right now, my canisters are really skinny. So it makes it hard to like scoop out of. So these will be really nice. This is hand soap dispenser. We have an electric kettle. It's white and this will also electric. match like the counter. Two more items. This I also desperately need. Um, this is a Sil oven mitt. Silicone. It's KitchenAid brand. So oh. I feel like they probably know what they're talking about. They are, yeah, they're like silicone, but they have uh, like a padded lining on the insides. And then the last thing is this set of cereal bowls. They look like this. So they kind of match. They also have the speckled, like the plates do, but they have that like cute bottom. Now we have to put all of this away. Um, but the actual last thing that I'm gonna show today are these pigment mixing bowls. I registered for some ceramic ones because the plastic ones are nice, but I feel like sometimes I want like a heavier bowl. I feel like Vigorous. a plastic bowl like gets tossed around. And also for um, serving popcorn to guests, I feel like this is a little bit nicer of an experience. You know I what I mean? <laughs> Now we have to figure out how to put all of this away. So thanks for watching. I hope this was entertaining and maybe you got some inspiration for your registry. <laughs> You're wearing these. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Come over for dinner. All right, bye.